Welcome back everyone. We're now on with testing. So, little secret here, this isn't the first test day we're at. So as I said in the dyno video, we were going testing on the Friday. So we did, we came same place here, Blighton Park, and we had the circuit to ourselves, but we had issues unfortunately. We had a drive shaft fault, we managed to get that sorted. We then also had a brake fault, which we knew about, but we didn't know what the fault was. But my top fabricator, Tom Barley, came along again and we found that we'd been supplied the wrong master cylinder um, for the pedal box. So a few phone calls and steel racing came through with a spare master cylinder, shot down the road, got that, fitted it, managed to get three quarters an hour of testing in, but absolutely torrential rain, rivers everywhere, it wasn't pleasant. Couldn't really set a lot up, couldn't really test a lot, but did the basics. So we had a really long day yesterday on the car, 12, 13 hours, got everything pretty much all buttoned off that we wanted to, everything up and running. And then we've come back this afternoon to Blighton Park with Javelin to do a little bit more testing, uh, check the faults that we had, bed the brakes in, now they're working properly, do a few of the little bits and bobs, bit of suspension set up. And we've had two hours here, massively successful, really happy with how the car ran, worked, all the settings and changes we've made have worked a treat. So now we're packed up, as you see the car's back on the trailer and we're now heading down to Cadwell. We'll get ready for time attack tomorrow. I'll put a few pictures on here and videos of a couple of laps and some videos from standing on the banking. And hope you enjoy and we'll see you on one after Cadwell and let you know how that goes. Catch you in a bit.
for the wrong one. So if anyone watched the live stream, you're probably going to know a lot of this that I'm going to uh, catch everyone else up on. So weather started off fantastic, dry morning, circuit was bone dry for warm up, went out for warm up, everything was great, car work faultlessly, not a problem. Still playing and tweaking with the new ECU, so made some changes for uh, practice. But by this point, the rain started unfortunately, and first time I drove the car at Cadwell in the rain since I stuck it in the barrier last year. So I was very skeptical of that. We'd made a few few adjustments, but the car was really still very sketchy, wasn't happy with it. So didn't do any pushing, just real steady away, just getting used to the circuit again being wet. By the end of it, dry lines were appearing, so we could start pushing, but then we ran out of time. Anyone that was either there or watched the uh, live of Time Attack will know that at dinner time the heavens absolutely opened. The circuit was like a pond, honestly. I think ducks were being happy there. They would have been probably been complaining. But nevertheless, we made a lot of changes to the car suspension. Went out in quality. Actually, surprisingly, the car performed really, really well. We soften off all the suspension, we up the wing angle and made a massive difference to the rear of the car and even the turning as well. I was very happy with what it would do. I wasn't confident in myself enough um, with the new brake pedal box. First time I've done it in the wet at any kind of speed. So I was probably being a little bit cautious on the brakes. So I'd say we lost a second to there with that. But even with that, finishing sixth in class, I was more than happy. Unfortunately, the live stream didn't catch this, but anyone that knows Cadwell will know that Park Street's pretty bad in the wet. So, and anyone that knows that will know that there's a river that runs across the circuit as you start to head back about the dip on Park Street. And then I was on about lap four or five, started to pick up some pace, going down there, following Ross Bott's BMW M2. As soon as he hit the river, he snapped and went sideways. Two seconds later, before I could change or do anything, I hit the water, did exactly the same. Snapped sideways, got sent onto the grass to the left. Luckily, it's banked, which stopped me really heading towards the tie wall. With a bit of throttle, a bit of brake, don't really know for what we did, some opposite, opposite lap. We ended up going back across the circuit, which luckily, uh, Mike Butler in his M3, he was behind me. He'd left enough space and he could dodge around me. And I went in back across the circuit and on the grass on the other side, so I was very lucky. Bit shaken up, bit taken back by it, because I've been on there four or five times previous at the same speed and not had an issue. Bit a little bit of aquaplaning, which was expected, but yeah, that was a bit of a ride. And unfortunately, GoPro wasn't in the car. I was having some issues with the GoPro yesterday and I've given up on it to be fair with, with the weather and everything. We just wanted to get out, do our laps and go home. Uh, so don't have any footage of it, guttingly enough. So I will post up any footage or pictures we've got from the day. I'll put them down below while uh, I'm talking away above it. But yeah, no footage that long. It was a bit of a, a, bit of a ride, um, but happy to come out the other side of it. So after qualifying, then the weather kept coming and kept coming. The pro boys went out, they struggled. The run what run boys went out and there was a couple of big incidents, big, big incidents for them. Um, I think there were about six cars in total got uh, in pretty big accidents in run what you run all during the day. Some were in the dry as well, to be fair. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a chaotic day. And then after that, it was, you know, the decision was taken to stop the day. It wasn't safe. There was rivers everywhere on the circuit. The start and finish strip was like a lake. So unfortunately we didn't get to run the final. So on that, because we finished sixth, we miss out on picking any points been qualifying by one place, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm more than happy to still to come away with sixth place. Six out of 15. Yeah, top, top half of the table is a good aim for us this year. There's a lot of fast cars in there. Some new faces with very fast cars, very experienced drivers. So top half of the table, to then start pushing up from there is a realistic aim and where we want to be. So we're happy with the sixth place in very bad conditions and hopefully at Brands Hatch in seven weeks time, 
things are a little bit better, a bit of sunshine hopefully. Restrictions will be on the verge of lifting completely. Uh, we'll be able to actually have a beer as well after a day of a race at the pub hopefully. It'll be pretty nice for the boys. Just want to say uh, a massive thank you to everyone that's made this year possible. I will go through the sponsors. If I forget anyone, I really apologise if you helped out. Funk Motorsport from board, they've been fantastic. A lot of advice and a lot of help from them boys. GB Auto Tech, Liam, he's done the ECU Master, ECU Dash. He's done his custom loom, wiring, all the mapping in his motorsport. Alex there, absolutely top look. He's a sponsor as well as a very good friend. Known him a lot of years. He's come back on board again this year, sorts me out no end, pulls me out of them. Shit, to be quite honest, half the time when I forget stuff. Um, absolutely fantastic guys over there. Top notch service, you will get better. As, as, as well with where with Moyles and Mortal. It's a little bit slow this year to get that one sorted, but hopefully that'll be done and dusted, ready for Brands Hatch. We've got SD Graphics, Stuart, absolutely fantastic guy, known him. 10, 15 years, wrapped this car for the past three, three years I think it's been. When I've damaged it, he's pulled me out of the shit, starting it. He's top guy, top rapper. He's one of my boys, really good friend. And uh, yeah, any, any graphics you need, totally custom designs, anything you want. As you see, my car is knocking out an ordinary Nest Furniture. This year they've come on board, it's a new one, to uh, supplying us with some new team wear. Unfortunately, it was a little bit delayed, so we don't quite have it yet, but we'll have that for the brands. Mark at BYC, absolutely top guy. And he's over in America, but still he is always giving me advice, help. We're looking at new ideas, uh, helping some aero, tweaking a few bits, and looking at running some new ideas on the car that he's looking to generate for his website. On top of that, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that came along to Cadwell to help me and run the car, Craig, Nicky, Adam, Tom, all very good friends of mine. Liam was there supporting the ECU and making adjustments as we got more data during the day. And one final one is a massive, massive thank you to Kim, my better half, my partner. Anyone that knows her, she's pretty well known around the TA paddock. She has seen me this last month, six weeks. I rank it up when she, she's moved in with me. Um, some pretty highs and lows because we've had a tough time getting this car ready. Some, you know, we've had some problems. Some people haven't helped out as well. They said the word and the companies have let us down. But we got there in the end, and she has been an absolute rock for me. So massive thank you to her for doing everything she does and just being herself and making sure I seen the light at the end of the tunnel and got us to Cadwell. And then she's our boss as well on the rest day, so we get told what to do. But anyway, I will mix this with the testing footage that we got from Blyton, purely so you've got some action of uh, the camera circuit. We'll hopefully be out testing again before Brands. Uh, if so, we'll get a lot of footage of that. Hopefully we'll be back on the dyno. Uh, we'll take some more footage of that, because it seems to be a popular one. And then we'll let you know how we get on at Brands when we go to that one. In the meantime, there will be some updates on Tom CRX. So don't forget about that one. We're going to try keeping the videos coming a little bit more often than what we had done now that things have calmed down a little. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe, hit the bell button, and then you'll get all the notifications. We'll, we'll see you shortly on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Catch you later. Cheers.